welcome to another episode of Grave Effects, where today I'll be reviewing Kotobukiya's 172 scale Command Wolf repackage version from Zoids. Now this one here is, I don't believe if it was a concept or if it was an original. I don't remember watching it, these enough to remember where exactly this one is from or if this is like a concept idea or something. But this is basically the white version of the blue one that you see in the Zoids. I forgot what it was that had the Liger Zero and the Strike Fear, but yeah. Reviewing on the side of the box here, we have a nice picture here of the, you know, detailed form and everything like that. It looks awesome and everything, so you can see him how he looks there. On the one side here, on the other side there. So this one, you actually see him in a nice roar pose. The other one's basically just a copy of what you see on the front cover. Then we have some details here. We have where you can see the cockpit opened up. You can see the pilot inside, not painted, of course. We have some details here of the teeth and everything with the mouth being open. And you can actually see here some really good articulation or a good example of just what kind of articulation this particular figure has. So, yeah. And then we have uh, just a profile image of the front and the back or front left view and the back right view here. And then we have just him doing galloping, I guess. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, he's, he's running. He's running here. Then we have the different parts that come with this particular kit. So it's not just going to be... The regular cannon version here with the second pilot it can also have the sniper ver variant or something like that which also has another pilot inside but the thing you can't see them then you have just the regular cannons here which you see actually it's not there but we have like the shielded version here so it's got shields on the side and you got extra thrusters and extra cannon here and whatnot so yeah and because it's the repackage version you also get water slides yes you don't have to use stickers moving that aside so going over here with a lot because there are a lot of runners for this. I will do my best to run through this and make sure not to drag this video out too much. But anyway, we have runner Q here and we can already see it's kind of like a brownish color. Not really chocolate brown, more like a old kind of brown, I guess you could say. And you can see some of the details of the tubes. This is the part of the thrusters there. Some little ventilations or something. I'm not sure what. We already see some of the parts here and uh, kind of similar to Liger Zero, if I remember correctly. He's not, it's not completely like white, white. Like for example, this is a example of white right there. It's like a really white right there. Almost looks like a stormtrooper kind of white. This is more like a sand kind of worn white. Like there's a little bit of worn colorness to it, whatever. Not sure if I'm going to repaint it yet or what I'm planning on it. I'm not really going to keep it as white. So I'm going to keep it on like some parts I'm going to paint in gray or different shades of gray, I suppose. Not 50 shades of gray because that's not this kind of video. Anyway. We have part of the weapons here and some other parts that are going to go on here and there. So we have part of the, the cannons here. I'm not sure what kind of cannon exactly. Other parts there, I'm not sure what. We got a barrel here for a minigun kind of thing or a machine gun. We have more components here, I'm assuming, for the thighs or not the thighs, like the hips and stuff. We got some piston here. I got to make sure not to lose these because those are kind of tiny. Uh, we have more of the weaponry here. Not sure what parts these are for, but yeah, we got this runner here right there, runner H. Moving on again. Can I take him from the box instead of already having them ready for y'all to see? We have two of the same runners here, so I'm not sure if these are for the legs or whatnot, but yeah, these are pretty much identical. So we've got two of the... What runners are these? It does not tell me. Bees. Okay, there it is. Kind of hard to tell where it is. And we have these parts here. They look almost identical as well, but just the color. It's kind of in a gray with a hue of blue in it so this looks like that's the cockpit right there yeah because it's got a seating arrangement so i think this is where the head would be and on some more parts here some ventilations here and there more weaponry here some fans there and everything like that either for cooling we got the seat right there not sure what kind of color i'm going to go for yet but we'll see on that going on over again more of these brown parts that match the lager zero's brown part we got some more tubing right there a little bit of like a kind of some type of cannon or whatever that looks almost similar to what was mounted on the bottom of Liger Zero. Same thing on this side as well. So yeah, got more of these parts and you can already see this is part of the sniper variants by the looks of it. And we have part of the cockpit inside there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything crazy in it or not. And yeah, I feel like I want to go buck wild on this thing, but we'll see how it goes. We have some details on the inside, so that's pretty neat there since you are going to be seeing this part there too. And then we have the exterior here. It's got a nice little detail going on. Looks like these lightsaber parts are going on something a little bit there. Not sure what. Got polycaps here. Some parts for, I'm assuming, the legs. And we have part of the pilot here as well. Actually, we got two pilots. Neat. So I don't have to worry about, like, if I have a second uh, second pilot, you know, cockpit, whatever, 
I don't have another pilot for it. Well, now I do, so that's neat. I actually got an extra pilot there, so. And it looks like that simple variant doesn't have any special character or whatever, because I guess it's not based off anyone specific, so. Yeah. Moving on for the last of the runners. These I like to, I wanted to keep them inside the bag because these are an, actually a nice gold. Unlike the Liger Zero, I like the gold on these. These are really, really nice. These look legitimately like gold. Like, it did a good job with the spray on this one. I'm not sure. At the same time, got to be very careful not to accidentally chip them or anything. But yeah, these look really, really neat. I love how these came out. And that sounds almost sarcastic, but no, it's not sarcasm. This is actually legit. Let me just put this back inside. I don't want to scratch them out or wear them out we got some of the visor parts here so we have two options it seems you can either go for a smoky visor look instead of the gold visor i guess if you want to be more stealthy or something like that you don't want to pop out as much with something that glows like that uh, or you just want to you know go out with the traditional orange instead so it's kind of like you, whichever one you want to choose but yeah since it's got these parts there it's uh it's either you go one or you go the other. It's no going back kind of thing. And by the looks of it, I'm pretty sure that it does not glow as much. Kind of glows. Anyway, so we got that part. And then we got the polycaps here also for the side. They don't glow, surprisingly, even though they look like neon orange. Kind of sad. We got some rubber parts, which I'm a little iffy on already, considering from the saber that I had. Uh, which I still have not repaired and I'm still just depressed by. But anyway, by the way, I really hope this kit does not turn out like that. And uh, for those of you, you can go and watch that video. I gave up on the... Um... Actually, I just gave up on the end of the video because I was just so sad and frustrated by that figure. It, it looked awesome. It looks amazing. But boy, did it fall apart at the end and I was just so sad about that. So, oh well. So I'm really hoping that this one holds up much, much better that I can do like the stop motion kind of thing that I show and demonstrating articulation and stuff and whatnot. So I'm really hoping that this will survive and that it'll be good because I really like wolves. It's one of my favorite animals and this character, or this particular Zoid just looks awesome. So moving on over here, we have the interesting parts. We have the freaking motorcycle uh, exhaust pipe kind of thing going on right there, which I'm gonna put a little bit of a heat sink kind of thing, whatever. So I'll do that and Oh, that's a surprise. I did not notice that when I was cutting these out. That is very considerate. Very considerate in a good way. So we have the Zoid core right here. And does this one glow? No, it does not glow, sadly. But interesting enough, we have the teeth here in already painted colors. So if you don't like that, then too bad. You know, <laughs> uh, you can repaint these yourself if you want, but... They look really nice. Again, they were molded in that really nice gold. Or not molded. They were painted in a really nice gold color. So no repainting is necessary here unless you want to go there. But yeah, this is this is really neat. I actually like the fact that they painted this. This saves me a little bit of work there because it's kind of a pain in the ass to do the Liger Zero and the uh, Fuhrer to make that. But yeah, cool. Anyway, going on, this is actually the first time I opened the booklet. We have the instruction manual. So here it's just similar exactly like the other ones, but just demonstrating here. Kind of what I like about uh, Kotobukiya here also is it kind of demonstrates exactly what part you're going on inside there, and it always changes there. So you can see whatever is highlighted, it tells you what you're working on or what part you're on. Excuse me. On the back side, you can see more of the what you saw in the box art, as well as a little bit more because you can see the Zoid core, some more detail here and everything like that. Inside, you got like some nice drawings of what it's, you know, concept art, I guess, of the mechanical components of this. Oh, and that's actually a nice variant to see. So we have a different uh, coloration here. I'm actually probably going to go with a little bit more oranges now that I see that. You can also go with like a desert theme and everything like that. And since it's a white base coat, this is actually perfect to paint on and everything like that. This is pretty neat. So you can see over here, like in the jungle or in the forest, actually, just kind of like moving around and everything. Just more details here, more drawings there, so on and so on. And like how it's supposed to look at the end and everything, where the decals are going to be going. So this is pretty neat. And also giving a demonstration on how to apply decals and everything like that. I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what that says. I'm pretty sure it says something about putting in water, let it set, dry it off a little bit. But I don't think it mentions anything about putting any microsol. Um, uh, what is it called? I forgot thinner, not the thinner, the Mark Setter, Mark Softener. 
And then last but not least, the part that I really enjoy about this particular kit, water slides. We actually get water slides, not stickers, so these will look nice on it, depending on how you put it up and everything like that. Not really sure exactly what I'm going to be putting on there exactly, because obviously this whole section does not fit in there. But it gives you the option to make up your own thing, which I appreciate. And I like that they gave all these extra numerical things and stuff like that, as well as some of the alphabetical things. Although not the full alphabet, but still, it's something. And on some of the different kind of caution signs and everything else you get too. So that's pretty neat as well. So yeah, that concludes this video here. I cannot wait to work on this kit whenever I get a chance because I have no freaking idea when I'll be working on these stuff. But hopefully I will have some time to work on these at least little by little and stuff like that. But yeah, my backlog is growing and uh, I don't like that. But anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a wonderful day. This is Grave Effects signing out.